All right, our next toolkit entry is called Linear and Exponential Models. And as we know from uh, last, our last course, linear models are nothing more than lines. And we have y equals mx plus b. That would be the actual model that we use, where m is equal to the slope and b equals the y-intercept. So here's a typical question you might see, and that is, Ryan has $25 in his piggy bank and adds $6 to it every week. How much money will he have after 12 weeks? So because we're adding the same amount each week, in this case $6, it's going to be a linear model. So in this case, what we're going to say is, we're going to come up with our equation first, and then we're going to actually solve the question. So here we go. So we're going to say y equals, because we're adding on $6 every week, m is going to be the slope. So we're going to say 6x, and then our y-intercept, b, is going to be how much he starts with. So he starts with $25. Remember when you do this, to also define what x and y stand for. So x in this case is the number of weeks. So number of weeks is x. And y is the amount of money he's going to have in there. So I'm going to call that dollars. So once we have our equation all set up, now we need to actually solve this actual question. So in this case, we're saying it's going to be 12 weeks. So since weeks is x, we would say x would be 12. And then all we need to do is plug in x equals 12 into this equation, and we're, and we're good to go. So we'd say y equals 6 times 12, and then we'd add on 25. 6 times 12 is 72 plus 25, and 72 plus 25 is 97. In this case, we're talking dollars. So after 12 weeks, he's going to have $97. So once again, this is when we grow by the same amount each week. So the slope is kind of the growth. I'm going to write growth right here. And the y-intercept is the start point. And in this case, we're, we're adding by the same amount each week. Or it could be also decrease each week as well. So what if it doesn't grow by the same amount every time, but instead grows by the same percentage? So uh, that's what we call an exponential model. So we have y equals a times b to the power of x. a is our y-intercept, and b is our multiplier. So we have a question here. Kevin bought his car in 22, for $22,500, and it decreases in value by 4% every year. What will the car be worth in eight years? This time we're decreasing by a certain percentage every year. So it's not, in, it's not actually by the same amount, but by, by the same percentage. So then we know it's exponential instead. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the equation, and we'll talk about why it is what it is in a moment here. So I'm going to write y equals a is our start point. That would be 22,500. Our multiplier in this case is going to be 0.96, and then it's going to be raised to the power of x. x would be the number of years. We'll say YRS for years, and Y would be the amount of money it will be worth in, in however many years we're talking about. So then the question becomes, well, why is this 0.96? This multiplier here, if the car remained un unchanged in value, that multiplier would be 1. As long as we take 22,500 and keep multiplying by 1 over and over again, it will remain unchanged. And as we know, 1 is equal to 100%. So now, once again, why are we doing 96%? I mean, what happened to the 4%? It's because we're going down 4% every year. And 100 minus 4 is 96. And 96% is equal to 0.96. So in essence, what we're doing is we're saying basically, hey, let's go ahead and take 1 and minus 0 0.04. And that's going to be our multiplier here. Also, just so you know, in this case, it's going down, but what if it were going up? So in other words, what if it was going up by, let's say, 7% every year? What we would do is we would do this. We would say 100% plus 7% would be 107%, which would be 1.07. So that would be our multiplier instead, 1.07. And once again, where does that come from? It comes from 1 plus 0.07. Alrighty, so now that we've kind of talked about where this multiplier comes from, we know this is the starting point, so y-intercept is our start point, so I'll write star right here. Multiplier is going to be the, the percentage that goes up by every year. And once again, because we're talking about a percentage, it's a multiplier, where before it was, the, it was a constant number, like the $6 from previous problems. So let's go ahead and figure this one out here. So if we want to know eight years, 
we would simply do this. Y equals 22,500 times 0.96. X is the number of years. In this case, it's 8. So if you were to grab your calculator right now and do that math, 22,500 times 0.96 to the power of 8, you'd wind up with roughly, and I'm just going to round this off to the nearest dollar, $16,000. $231. Alrighty, so that's how linear and exponential models works.